The U.S. is the most heavily armed country, where there are 120 guns for every 100 people. According to data from the Giffords Law Center, more than 116 people here die from gun violence every day. On Friday, President Joe Biden decried the more than 500 mass shootings and over 30,000 gun-related deaths in 2023 alone. Guns are the number one killer of children in America, the United States of America. More than car accidents, more than cancer, more than other diseases. He announced a new federal office to support implementation of existing legislation and push further gun control efforts, appointing Vice President Kamala Harris to lead it. The move is supported by gun control activists but slammed by arms industry lobbyists. The National Rifle Association accused Biden of unfairly targeting citizens exercising their rights to bear arms under the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, an argument refuted by Harris. President Biden and I believe in the Second Amendment, but we also know common sense solutions are at hand. It's unclear whether the office will impact actual policy, including those affecting neighboring Mexico, where gun control laws are strict and the majority of arms are smuggled from the U.S. It will be in regular contact with NSC and Homeland Security uh, team, and so we're going to do everything that we can to combat international trafficking and smuggling as well. Earlier this week, a group of House Republicans introduced a bill that would prohibit the president from declaring an emergency for the purposes of imposing gun control. Patsy Huirakuswara, VOA News at the White House.